this South Jane Jane Lee Bates water wells uh, another under the front end of the trailer park this is a uh, Grizzick Field Park Trying to find the entrance. Last time I did a video of it was a long time ago. Usually you can see it from here. There it is. A lot of speeders. South James Street has got a lot of speeding problems, especially at night. I mean, holy shit. The people that rock it up and down this road, it's really, it's a fucking joke. Oops, sorry, I used some bad language. My bad. And it just ticks you off. I mean, I can see going 10 miles an hour over the speed limit, but <laughs> the people on South James Street, especially at night and early in the morning uh, when they're going to work, I don't know, there's never, ever any enforcement of it. I mean, during the weekday mornings, you could hand out a lot of tickets. But I guess the city has no need for it. Huh. The problem neighborhood. <sighs> Coming up on Ann Street, or I am on Ann Street. I don't know. I can never read these road signs. I just say left, right, north, south, you know. He's North Street. And Ann Street. This is the... Not exactly a new apartment complex, but it's pretty new. The last time I videotaped this, the entire fire department was here. I guess there was a small apartment fire. By the time I got here, they were uh, just wrapping things up. Hold on. All gave some, gave all. Freedom isn't free. I like that. Very windy. This is a new apartment complex. But like I said, it's not that new. Haven't been inside there, but judging from some of the uh, pictures and stuff, I, it's a pretty nice complex. I don't know if they require rent or if it's mainly through social security and uh, pensions or whatever. And by the way, when a new apartment complex opens up in any city, any location, I think it's a real crock when they say, oh, we're going to let a, a certain percentage of renters be veterans. I think that's a cop-out. I think they say that just to get federal funding or state funding for their complex. I really do. 
I mean, granted, they do have a certain amount of veterans, but I mean, how about building an entire complex and just having all veterans? You know, just a just a little hunch. Little heads up. But I think that's why a lot of complexes say it. Hey, bike rack. If I do that in the near future, where, what, I can't get out this way? Okay, I can. Quite a complex stuff. I like it. I want to go by the guy again with the van. Down. Oh, yeah, there it is. Come on down. Look at that, that bike rack even has a roof. Damn. <laughs> That's luxury. <laughs> Couple stone. <laughs> Must be maintenance. <laughs> Check this van out. This is pretty cool. <laughs> I like it. Brotherhood. We the people. <laughs> I like that van. <laughs> okay. I forgot where I was originally headed. Uh, we're back on South James Street. This used to be Mike's bar. Pretty rough and tumble place. Happy the city shut it down. Mini Mart on South James Street. Never been in there. One day I probably will be. New housing. It's been here for a few years. And believe it or not, a lot of the residents are New York City residents. <laughs> Supposedly it's low income, but judging from the vehicles, huh, it's not low income. <laughs> I don't know, I guess at low income, I guess it's defined as affording the $30,000 via. This is Rizzo's. Here's Louisa. Hey, Paul. We're at that church. Huh. Rizzo's. They've been here forever. I went in there one time years ago when I lived on this street, which is Louisa Street, and uh, I regret it. I like dogs, but I don't like pit bulls. Actually, I think this is the house I lived at, yeah. Kind of a nightmare. One time a girl was living there. She was really cute. Polish girl. And then she just disappeared. And I told her parole officer who came looking for her. Uh, I said to him. I forgot what I said to him. Oh yeah, I said to him. Uh, I said, yeah, a couple of. Uh, Hispanics with tattoos from the top of their heads to the tips of their fingers came into the house uh, the other day and uh, they were completely cool and she was completely cool they were there she went with them and I never seen her 
she just vanished. Oh, I don't know what happened to her. She was on parole for narcotics, though. The mysteries of people. When you live in any apartment, especially in a city, uh, you're going to have a lot of stories. I used to like Subarus. Now I just, I don't know, I can't stand Subarus. And we were just here. This is Yuvani Park. Get over the color of the house. <laughs> Weird house. Stop. Next place we're going is Aldi's. We're going to Aldi's. Keep their houses up pretty nice. Hey, for sale. Anybody want to buy a house? Yeah, for sale. of these uh, convenience stores that populate the cities right now as some of them do illegal activities drugs <laughs> or uh, untaxed cigarettes none of these houses have changed it's been like 15 years. It's been like 15 years, none of them have changed. This one's boarded. Nice house. Maybe it's for sale. The Franklin. I haven't been in there a while, but I'm dying to. They got some awesome desserts. The Franklin Hotel. And you can easily spot it on South James Street. Crazy notice. I'm crossing over, and not that type of crossing over. <sighs> and uh, like I said, that up ahead right at the boulevard is North James Street. Yes, we are on South. China Inn. They got apartments upstairs. Cabrizetti. Bus. Bus. where I was going. Oh yeah, I called these. The 
Ramada Inn. I already forget what they used to be called. They still have a lot of problems. They just changed their name. You know, when all the stimulus money ran out from the pandemic, the recent pandemic, either politicians knew of the problems, but didn't care, or they just rushed all this stimulus money not caring about the issues of when the money runs out. This is Hobby Lobby. Well, it will be Hobby Lobby. Grand Union, which is owned by Price Chopper, which is very expensive. Pet Supply Plus, Route 21, Dollar Tree, Shoe Department. Those are the new apartments across from uh, City Hall, West Dominic Street. The Capitol Theater. Green. I'm trying to get to all these. There's my shelves over there, Spectrum. Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> I can't eat their chicken. I love the smell of it, but I cannot eat it. I get serious stomach upset. FYI. Oh. I just don't like chicken fried. I think chicken is best when it's, I don't know, grilled, broiled, baked. Soup. I still can't figure out this place. I'm baffled as to why they poured money into it unless somebody purchased it. The U.S. Marine Corps building. Must be they're getting new flags. Yes, we're stopping at Aldi's. That's all wire over there. 